morning. I'm Alinda Deng. I have been building data technologies and products for Alibaba Group for the last 10 years. Today, I'm very excited to introduce Datafin to you. Datafin is our flagship product for intelligent data creation and management. Unlike typical data platforms made by traditional software companies, Datafin's capabilities have been tested and proven within Alibaba Group which is one of the largest and most demanding big data environment in the world. Many of you would probably agree that data intelligence will fundamentally transform every business and every profession. We might also agree that, like what we have shown here, there are many challenges that we need to face before we reach this grand vision. In Alibaba, we used to face all these problems just a few years ago. At that time, our data sources were fragmented, our data metrics were often confusing or even contradictory, and our data applications were often built as silos. We knew this situation is unsustainable, so we have built an entirely new organization-wide framework, including common data layer and unified data service that we call data common data, data mid-end. So we have built an, um, that we call data mid-end. So we have built uh, this uh, framework that today the system manages 95% of the entire group's data and is driving all types of their data applications. In fact, when we talk about building an organization-wide common data layer and unified data service, many companies have endorsed the concept and are even trying to embark on this journey. However, the concept itself is not sufficient. Data middle-end includes a set of unique and comprehensive methodologies, products, and technologies that we call when data, when ID, and when service. When data refers to the capabilities for intelligent data warehousing and data asset management. When ID refers to the capabilities for entity identity linking and profiling to break data silos. And finally, when service refers to the capabilities for unified data service, making it possible to reuse data instead of duplicating the data set. As one of the largest technology companies in the world, Alibaba Group bears the responsibility to share and empower broad society. Today, I'm very excited to announce that thing. The product is my flagship product, include uh, about intelligent data creation and management. It's industry agnostic. It provides one-stop intelligent data capabilities from one data to one ID to one service. It's a complete package that includes products, technologies, as well as methodologies to ensure successful implementation. Its end goal is to help any aspiring organization build their own that middle end. We can see that the suite covers the uh, entire data pipeline from data ingestion to uh, intelligent data uh, warehousing to data asset management and data service. Beyond its comprehensive uh, features, that thing is also highly intelligent. Without further ado, let's look at a preview about its intelligent data features. Intelligent data creation and management. There are four key innovations that make data thing intelligent. Data standardization, development automation, theme-based service, and data asset management. Firstly, let's look at data standardization. DataFrame separates data metrics into atomic and derived ones. An atomic metric can be created to precisely define a business measurement. You can create many atomic metrics, and DataFrame ensures there's no duplication or contradiction. With every atomic metric, you can then combine with different descriptors to form many derived metrics. 
by regulating the atomic metrics and the descriptors, DDFIN automatically guarantees the integrity of all the derived metrics. Secondly, let's look at development automation. In DDFIN, what you design is what you get. How do we turn our metrics from definition to output? All you need to do is to press a button. All the ETL logics are automatically generated. All the tasks are automatically scheduled and all the metrics are automatically computed. Amazing, right? This is how we can reduce days of ETL work to minutes. Thirdly, let's look at theme-based data servers. With DataFin, analysts see logical views instead of physical tables. In the traditional query interface, you may need 10 queries to retrieve data. With DataFin's theme-based queries, you only need one. You can now focus more on insights, less on schemas. Lastly, let's look at data asset management. When data is developed and serviced with DataFin, the platform automatically traces the complete data lineage. As a result, you can easily gain a panoramic view of the whole organization's data assets and understand their dependencies. This also helps you quickly troubleshoot any data issue and optimize your data cost. DataFin helps you enter the new era of data intelligence. So this is that thing, the product that we have put my heart and soul to build it. In China, that thing is helping many clients across many industries to build new big data platforms or transform from legacy ones with the singular goal to boost business innovations. I know many of you are from our telecoms or background, so let me just share with you one case study from our telco customers. This client is a convergent uh, telecoms operator with fixed mobile IPTV and new digital business portfolio. They have a few Hadoop systems for non-structured data and a few uh, traditional data warehouses for more structured data metrics. As you could imagine, all the data is managed in different ways and some is not managed at all. As a result, there is no easy way to find data, use data, ensure data service levels, or measure data cost and benefit. So after we set up their common data layer with one data and one ID, we used the DataFin's asset management to create an organization level unified view of its asset. With this strong common data asset layer, the operator is building a new uh, data operations such as digital services and data monetization platforms. Of course, they could have developed these systems in, uh, in the traditional silo ways, but common data asset layer helps them to innovate much faster. Looking back, we realized that we have come a long way from a chaotic mass of data to clean and intelligent data. We think that many companies, even if their data size is still relatively small, will ultimately face the same uh, data challenges, challenges like what we have met five years ago, as their data will continue to grow. Does that mean all these companies need to go through the same painful process that we have gone through, investing hundreds of millions um, step, step across uh, numerous roadblocks to build a strong data middle end. Today, we'd like to offer an alternative path that is don't wait until your data become chaotic. Start to build that middle end now and build it together with someone who has done it before. In this way, you can focus your energy and resources onto more impactful data innovations. In the upcoming future, we look forward to collaborating with a wide range of partners to bring that thing across all industries and sectors.